Hi guys. This is a great example of um, a long gown where the back, when it was manufactured, was shorter than the front. And because it was so long, when this lady took it to an alteration shop, she said to them to shorten it by X amount. And they did that without her trying it on. And so what happened was an amount was taken off the front and the back. And when she actually took it home and put it on, the back was shorter than the front. So you can see the back's touching there. And here, there's a lot more fabric. Now, you could say that it's the alteration shop's uh, mistake. And maybe it is. But... You know, I guess it comes down to when people come to me and they've got long gowns or anything long, I always say to them, look, sometimes a gown can be shorter at the front than the back. In fact, probably 80% of the time or more, that is the case. Now, whether it's the manufacturer made a mistake, whether it's the person's body shape, for example, let's say someone has a large bottom and no stomach. So the, back's, the, short, the front is going to be shorter than, longer than the back because of the, the bottom. Or the reverse might happen. You know, it may not be the back. It may be that they have no bottom and they have a big stomach out here somewhere and that would raise it at the front and, and lower it at the back. So there's all sorts of reasons why any gown that's long should be tried on and pinned. And if you don't have pins, use something like this, which is a chalk marker. Now, my client didn't want to be videoed, and I totally understand that. What I had to do was, I said to her, look, it has to be shortened to the amount that the back is, to straighten it, right? Whatever that is, we have to do that all the way around. So I use my chalk marker, and obviously this is not the right length, but it was on the client, and I placed that so that it was right at the bottom of the back, and then I chalked it all the way around, so that this now is the same as that when it's on her body, okay? And that's an important point, when it's on her body. Because it has ended up becoming so short, she was extremely disappointed. And I said to her, well look, we have another option. And that is, instead of taking it to here and cutting off all of that, what if I take half of that and bring that around the bottom section and attach it to the back? So naturally I'm gonna to have to unpick the hem. So I'll drop that down as much as possible. And that way we'll pick up probably about three inches or so, you know, which would bring it down towards the ankle, which wouldn't be so bad. So because of the pattern, it's more than likely going to be difficult to see. So I just wanted to show you a close up. You can see the chalk mark there and there and there. I've popped pins in so that if for any reason the chalk mark vanished, not that it does, but if it did, at least I've got some pins in. So you can see the pins going around. So remember this was on her body. She didn't want to be videoed, which is fair enough. So there's the pin going across there. And you can see that line will come to there. And then if you go around here, it'll come up here and around. And the beauty of doing this on a person's body is that you can get it really straight. I mean, everybody's body shape is just totally different. So when you're wearing something that's quite tight, 
um, it's not necessarily going to be straight um, all the way around. You know, I mean, it can't possibly be, can it? Because it's your body shape. Someone might put it on who is like really, you know, slim and it'll just hang and it might be straight. Someone will put it on with curves and it'll be crooked. So, and then you get manufacturers who do this kind of thing. Um, where in all honesty, I think um, it's actually the fault of the manufacturer perhaps. I'm, I mean, I haven't measured the front or the back yet. I'll do that later just to make sure. You know, it could just be the design. So chalk markers, going to correct it. And what I'll do, like I said, is I'm going to take half. So I'll measure that, create half, and I'll come all the way around. And hopefully I'll have enough of that to add to the back. I'll unpick the, the hem so that I've got that as well. So this is the back. Now, I've lowered the hem. So that's the hem allowance there, which is 7 eighths of an inch. In most places. <coughs> So what I want to do is I want to divide all the areas by half. So that's three and a quarter, um, which is one and five eighths. So I'll put a line there or eight and a half, which is 4.25. So I'm just going to run a line there like that. Okay, remember I've dropped the hem. And here, that's four, so I'll make that two. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to have to bring that down because I've got to keep this hem allowance here. So there's going to be some of this that I'm not going to be able to use. And now I'll come over here see there's a big difference here this is <coughs> six and a half which is three and a quarter that go. And I'm going to come down like that. Because basically I just need as much as I can get. So I'm just going to cut this down to there so that's three and a quarter that's three
So now what we're going to do is I'm going to pin this onto the back. And what I'll do is I'll try and put the pattern if, as much as I can back where it was, like that. So I've pinned this on the back, you can see there what I've tried to do is keep that brown section if I can following down on both sides, trying to keep that obviously in the middle, bringing that around the sides are not going to be as good, well, it's not too bad there. So what I'm going to do, and I've, I've taken that little bit in there because if I didn't, this wasn't going to match up. And what's important too is always make sure that you keep the hem allowance um, that I unpicked at the bottom. Right, so because you can see that you can see some of the original stitching and you really don't want to have that there. You, you, you know, you don't want that up here. So that'll we'll put the hem back on and at least It'll be that much longer than what it was. So what I'm going to do now is just pop some pins in where it's touching here. Okay, so that bit needs to come off. But what we've done is we've extended it down three inches more than what it was going to be. It's actually just touching a bit more, so I might just... These pins... Yes. Plus it's a knit. can't go any higher because of the ceiling. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yep. Alright, so I'm going to cut it at those pins.
So there you have the extension. It's not that noticeable. And now what I'll do is I'll do a very small hem. I'll do a half inch hem, just like that. So that it gives me quite a bit. And it, so there's the finished product. I've only done a small hem. And you can see the join there. And if I just turn it around, this is the back. So there is a piece, I'll try and lift it. So there is an extension on there, but it would be very hard to notice that when she's wearing it. And now it's straight all the way around. Let me show you that. See, that's the extension there. There's the join, and there's the join. And if you recall, I took it in here so that I could keep those two the same. But you can't really see that join. Happy altering. These are great. Um, if you can get one from a haberdashery shop or probably most fabric shops should have them. I do sell them on my website. I've got a feeling I'm out at the moment, but if you did want one, send me an email at judith at geniecenter.com.